Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Franklin here. Before we get into this video, please like and subscribe. That is the best way to support my channel as well as keeping my sanity because I'm about to go in on this video. So make sure you guys do that. All right. So there was Nintendo Direct today. Yeah, pretty much to sum it up, the Mario franchise took a massive W. I mean, with the games that were announced, Super Mario RPG, Princess Peach game in the works, a beautiful 2D Mario scroller game as well. Man, they just took W's. W's, W's, W's. So, in the beginning of the Direct, there was some more Pokemon news announced in regards to the DLC. We saw a couple more Pokemon that are going to be reintroduced back into Generation 9, which is always cool to see. And there were two more cool things popped up, as the one shown on my screen. We ended up getting a mystery gift with that code word right there. You can get those cool items right there. And we finally get to get a gaming goal that is shiny. So, with this new special terror raid battle event, we're able to potentially catch a shiny gimme goal. Which means that we can finally get shiny golden goal. And if you want to know what shiny golden goal looks like, yeah, it's right there. Now, if you really want to get into details as to what the hell makes it shiny, I believe it's just like the outlines, you know, instead of gold, it's like silver. I don't I don't know which one is even shiny to begin with. And the eyes or the glasses or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's a different color. So, yeah, good job. This is probably not one of the best shinies to put out on a very coolly designed Pokemon. So, right back at this. <laughs> now, the Terra Raids were actually put out into our games today as soon as the Direct was over. Just one problem, or maybe two problems. They were fucking bugged. For those of you who play Pokemon Scarlet, some of you may have noticed, and this was based on multiple reports. I was doing some internet scouting, and a lot of people on Scarlet were getting this kind of bug that essentially they were not getting the proper rewards for beating the Gimme Gold you know, special raids. And apparently Pokemon Violet users had no problems whatsoever. Now, this is kind of giving me these uh, Vietnam flashbacks when it comes to these raid events that Game Freak have recently been putting out. Like, they've been fucking trash. Like, Game Freak, what the fuck are you doing? If you're going to put out something that's really cool like this, please do it correctly the first time. Don't just push some half-ass, lazy-ass event out for us only to find out that the people who essentially bought Scarlet can't really get the full proper experience because you just bullshitted your way into making an event like this. I mean, Game Freak, what the, f what the fuck are y'all doing, man? Like, Jesus Christ. And there was another complaint, and I think this one's kind of a little like, okay, like, what the fuck? Uh, pretty much... The Gimme Ghoul's shiny rates are fully, like, they're full odds, which is mean, which means that they're essentially one out of 4,000. I forget what the actual number is. Rather than being shiny boosted rates, especially in a timed, timed event, like, Game Freak, are y'all just, like, not giving a fuck about us anymore? This is pretty much a slap on the face for Pokemon fans who've been waiting for this shiny for a very long time. And yeah, this is just not a good look because if you recall, there have been several <laughs> raid events that have been bugged, glitched, pretty much just trash overall. And it just goes to show, man, they don't give a fuck anymore. That's just, man, it's just, oh my God, it makes me feel disgusted. But, oh, man, I, I was actually going to put out a video and it was going to talk about Game Freak and you know what? They're finished. They're done. Dunzo. But I think that might be pushed out until like next week or whatever because, wow, this stuff <laughs> takes the cake. Pretty much puts the exclamation point on what I've been trying to build up over the past couple years. But, oh, my God, bro. And apparently there's been a hot fix. I believe this was a hot fix. I want to say it was two hours. and hour. I don't know what the exact timeline was, but I think it was two hours after the event was released. Uh, they did a hot fix to update the glitch to you know prevent the bug and all that stuff from happening. But it's like, dude, 
Why, why, why is this stuff still happening in 2023? Why does the game still run on 30 frames per second? Why does not, the game still doesn't look good? Doesn't fucking work. Oh my god, Game Freak. I was just like, you can't, you can't be fucking serious, man. It's time, bro. I give this game to someone else, man. It's, it's over. But wait, there's more. So, we ended up getting some pretty cool stuff with Detective Pikachu Returns. So that's pretty cool. Until you realize, this game is actually being made by Creatures Incorporated, which is essentially a company affiliated with Game Freak and Nintendo. So pretty much is like Game Freak's brother or sister, whatever you want to call it. This game has voice acting. And you're telling me, this game, these two games don't have it? Oh, hell no. Like and subscribe.